Okay, so we're sitting here, <laughs> that's Tucker, and uh, with Tucker and Lily, who are uh, five-month-old uh, Weimaraners. Now, they're from the same litter. Uh, so we've spent a lot of the session going over structure and rules, but one of the problems they have is they're very mouthy. So I wanted to set up this video where we talk about some of the tricks and secrets that you can use to stop your dog from mouthing or yipping again. So I have a bunch of toys here I'm going to talk about here in a minute, but making sure your dog has appropriate chew toys can go a long ways. Now when we have puppies, if they are mouthing or nippy, a lot of times they do that because they are tired. It's been too long since they've had a nap. Most people don't realize dogs sleep 17 hours a day on average, puppies sleep even more. So if your dog suddenly becomes mouthy or nippy, consider how long it's been since he or she has had a nap, and if it's been a while, we want to maybe incorporate that. Now, what I, I do a couple of, uh, I'm going to go through about three different tricks uh, in this one. So if I'm like playing with the dog, anytime the dog's teeth touch me, even if it's accidental, now if I touch the dog's teeth, that's different, but if the dog kind of, my, <gasps> I let out a yelp. I usually do more of a yelp like, <laughs> and you see how she froze. Mm -hmm. So when dogs are playing with each other and it, it gets too much, the, the, the bite is too hard, they'll yelp like that, they'll both freeze for a second, they kind of have a conversation like, are you okay? Yeah, that was too hard. Okay, I'm sorry, I got excited. Okay, you ready to go? And they go back at it. Mm -hmm. So you've probably heard and seen them oh, yeah. with them each other. Now, anytime they make the teeth make contact, <gasps> even if they were licking and they just accidentally grazed, bite inhibition should always be the number one thing that we teach our dogs, because that's the most dangerous thing. Mm -hmm. So then they understand any tooth movement touches the humans, they freak out. So first thing you do is yelp loudly like that, retract, pause a second, wait for the dog to pause. Now if the dog bounces, starts bouncing around, it hasn't got the message or it doesn't care. So then we mm -hmm. might go to a different consequence. Another thing to do, well, you might want to stand up and turn and give your dog the back. You like shun your dog. Um, that's another option to do if they do it. Now, sometimes if a dog is really mouthing me, um, I don't. You mentioned that you like to, you'll kind of put the gum mm -hmm. over. We can do that. I generally like to let them do it. So I, what I do is put my finger in the in the cheek. If they bite down, they're biting down on themselves. Mm. As, as opposed to me doing. It. Mm -hmm. um, now. One of, the tr one of the other tricks that I like to do is have, this is a Nyla bone. Uh, usually it comes in a set of three of these. One's a cookie, one's very rubbery. These can't bend at all. And then this is the hard, rigid Nyla bone. Now when we have puppies, the, the bendable ones are great. Once they get to about this age and they've lost their puppy teeth, they really need to chew to set their teeth and mm -hmm. also to placate and uh, keep themselves occupied. So what I would recommend you do is all of you have one of these. Now, you mentioned that your dogs are not super wide about these. Mm -hmm. I would get antlers. You can also get bully sticks. Um, I give my dog carrots as bones to chew on. Carrot wards off a type of cancer as well. So does broccoli. Those are good little tricks. Um, or you can have different ones like these with different shapes. Some of these also come in flavors. You can get a chicken flavor one. Um, now, I just want something that's, that's easy for me to stick in my pocket. Anytime the dog starts getting mouthy or nipping with me, what I'll do is I'll pull one of these out and I'll kind of tease the dog. Now we talked about earlier not just handing it to her. So see how she's like looking at it? Because I'm not letting her pop it. And so then when, when she actually does go for it, I let her win. Now I've preoccupied her mouth and given her something to do. There we go. But if I just hand it to him, as you saw, he didn't know he was that interested. So if I tease him with a little bit with it and he can't get it, it creates more of a desire. I really want that thing. And then usually I let them pull it away. That time I kind of put it in his mouth. I let them kind of pull and then I let them win. Then they feel good and then it becomes a prize that I really like. Now we've preoccupied their mouth and they're chewing on the appropriate thing. Now, uh, some good chew toys. And again, I like the green spot when I'm here in Omaha. Um, bully sticks are great. You know what a bully stick is? It's a dry as a bull's penis. But dogs love them. It's better than rawhides. It lasts a little bit longer. It's a good chew toy. Now that's an ingestible chew toy. So for antlers and these sort of things, if I, if I tease the dog with it and he take, wins it and he takes away, I immediately pick up another one and put it in my pocket so I always have to bring these with me. So that way I always have something to redirect the dog and re-engage them and it gives them a chance to chew on something. Uh, but antlers, uh, you only have one. We have one here. Now this one is an elk antler. It's a big one and it's split down the middle as you can see. So I find the ones that are intact all the way around will last longer. There'll be little bits of it, it's not the whole antler. But it'll be about this size, and it's, antlers are expensive, they're based on weight. So don't get a really thick one, get a longer one. And they'll gnaw it down, it'll start out this big, and it'll eventually be this big. Then you give it to a friend who has a schnauzer or something like that, that dog will be happy to have it. But giving your dog appropriate chew toys, it will, can go a long ways towards helping your dogs 
redirect and understand that they can't mouth or nip at you. Like I said, a lot of the time it's because the dog is tired. It needs a nap. Um, but also, if it mouths me and I pet it, then I'm kind of rewarding it for doing so. So that's why the yelp, anytime the teeth touch, standing up, turning away, or redirecting with an appropriate chew toy are great ways to get your dog to stop.